So for today, we're going to be looking at the Witch Queen uh, weapons and gear trailer. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it in the description below. Uh, but essentially, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. It's super fun. It's super cool. I just have like a few things that I don't like about it. But other than that, everything looks super dope. So we're going to go through the trailer and I'm going to be stopping in and whatnot. So again, if you guys haven't seen it, I like to just you watch the You watch it first and then come back to this video. But let's start right, right off with it. So we see the new arsenal this is where i get it gets really interesting it actually lets us choose the barrels it lets us choose the magazine i don't know that was the magazine this so barrel this is masterwork we can choose the masterwork we can choose the magazine and we can choose the perks all of this we're able to choose from I highly doubt it then I don't think they're gonna give us this much freedom but if they do it's gonna be good and bad personally good because a we're gonna be able to get our own god rules but bad because it's gonna homogenize a lot of the weapons which is not good because if people remember destiny 2 year 1 it was terrible it was absolutely fucking terrible so we'll see how this goes I have faith that they'll do something cool with it but these weapons might only have like two or one good rolls that people are just gonna go for immediately uh this has nothing to do with the actual video but it's more of like a thing i noticed uh there's scorn here and the only reason i bring them up is because people are saying like oh the scorn is going to be the raid if scorn is the raid i'm going to be kind of annoyed because the whole kind of story is witch queen uh savathun so it makes sense though like i guess since uh the presage but at the same time or not presage but like the crown of sorrows as well and whatnot I, either way i want i want hive in it uh so here's the new exotic weapons Brand Overture Slug Launcher Charges Full Auto Missiles. I don't even know what the fuck this weapon is. I don't know what the fuck it could be. Uh, I'm excited for it just because of how nutty it looks. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not a little nervous of just how ridiculous this seems. It definitely has to be a heavy. Is that it? Was that it? Oh, that's a that's a rocket or that's a that's a machine gun it doesn't look like it though oh it is I think it is it's an arc damage too it has to be heavy that that looks like a machine gun dog this also has to be uh, heavy so what's it called parasite is that what it's called oh that's super that's super metal worm launcher with with increasing damage. <clears throat> That's really cool. I guess it has that one perk that grenade launchers usually have where the farther it goes, the more damage it does. If that's the case, that's pretty cool. Uh, I highly doubt that's gonna be the raid exotic just because Bungie usually doesn't show the raid exotic in this type of thing, in this type of video, I mean. The Oste Osteo Strega swarming projectiles trigger a toxic burst. Is this Thor in an SMG version, dog? No fucking way. That's wild. This weapon is going to parallel with Warlocks with the arms if it's the same thing. If not, that's unfortunate, but oh well. All right, so here's where I'm kind of a little annoyed. <laughs> Titans get a fucking mini bubble. Not hating on that. That's super dope. I like that they got that. That's super cool. Warlocks get a fucking healing turret. Also not hating. Super dope. What do hunters get? What do you think we got? Hmm? Now, before I get really fucking annoyed comments saying, you <laughs> listen. If it's as powerful as it is, because it took down how many people? It took down... It took down a lot. If it's that powerful, sure. Super dope. 
I would have preferred something like, it helps me go invisible. I do understand what they're going for. Titans get void. Warlocks get solar, even though it makes sense that solar, but at the same time, it's not solar, but whatever. It makes sense that since middle tree solar does the orbs, the healing orbs. And then hunters get arc. I get that. The next part, I, I hate with a passion, though. So... I can't even say this. Hoarfrost Z chest. <clears throat> Super cool. Instead of an actual shield, you get a shield wall consisting of fucking stasis. Ah, this is pretty wild because Titans are already pretty good with maintaining shield for their... If you do a certain build with stasis. Now they just have more stasis to work with, which is wild. On top of their grenade that they already have you can now, now do this or you can still do double grenade if you want I will say warlocks I think you guys got mm, actually never mind I was gonna say I think you guys got gypped because you guys have two cold snap grenades but now that I think about it that also gives you two two uh, stasis turrets so that's gonna be fucking obnoxious and then what did we get? What did the hunters get? Did we get something cool? No, we did not. Fucking, we got Raiju's Harness, but now it does a little bit more. Actually, this is not even Raiju's Harness. Raiju's Harness gives you more duration and you can turn it off whenever you want. This one is literally just, you do more damage if you deflect shit. And knowing Bungie, if it deflects too much damage, it's gonna get nerfed. So it's like, this is just... Such a cool helmet. Look at this helmet. Such a cool helmet. Just for it to get fucking nerfed if it's too good. That helmet looks super dope. I just don't think it should have been connected to Raiju's harness. Or it shouldn't have been connected to Middle Tree's arc. We should have gotten another stasis subclass uh, exotic, even though we have one already. But if you're going to make that argument, Titans also already have one. So that's a stupid argument. Uh, you could have given us literally anything, but of course you give us something for the shitty middle tree. I hate middle tree arc with a passion, so I'm a little biased here, but I don't care. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the video. I, I liked what I saw. I just hate that, uh, what are those exotics at the end? Hold on. I don't remember Titans having this helmet. That looks fucking terrifying. Uh, those arms also didn't look similar. Okay. So I'm guessing these two are new uh, or like you guys got the same one. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just annoyed with the exotics that hunters got just because they seem just very like meh in my opinion. Like, of course, like, of course we get something that's just like, this is arc and it's like arc really arc. I don't know. Personally, I'm much more of a fan of of art of void for hunters. Arc is just to be fair. I think that because arc in Destiny One was supremely better than than the arc in Destiny Two. Arc in Destiny One was just that much better. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you guys want to bitch about how I'm just bitching about hunters, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link in the description below. A mini fucking bubble, bro. Look at all of this, look at all of this like self-sustaining things and we get a fucking lightning thing on the fucking floor. I'm, I'm done, dog. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys later.